Hi, and welcome to the Yarn Have a Geek podcast. My name is Laura. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Ravelry as Yarn Have a Geek. There is also a Ravelry group for the podcast if you wish to join, and I know I will mention this for almost every episode <laughs> since the uh, past few episodes that I will <laughs> do need to update with all the show notes on the Ravelry group. So hopefully I will get that done, which I will need... I'm going to actually post, make a day in which I will, will update the entire Ravelry group, having all the show notes with the, all I talk about, links to the patterns I use. All right, and uh, enough with that. Let's get started with this week's episode in which I am filming on Tuesday night because I totally forgot to film it during the day, to the day of Tuesday. Since I will be busy on the Wednesday, this is being uploaded on. So, let us get started with this week's episode, shall we? Alright, we've got whips of the week. I worked on three whips this week, and uh, I, right now there are no finished objects yet. But, um, there are gonna be, I'll be talking about some plans later on, well, after this segment, so... Let's start off with something I've shown before. It's nearing completion, which is the Hogwarts Bubble Stitch Blanket. I've just got about seven more bobble rows to do before I can start work on the, the uh, border. And uh, also, I will be picking up the fabric I will be using to line the back. So that way, all this won't be shown, but it's going to be nice a plush fleece that I'm going to pick up up from the downtown area of Toronto. So, hopefully, this I will be talking more about this in the segment after this segment. So, but let's get some more. So, yay! Oh my god, the fact that I have to go all the way back just to show. So hopefully that will be finished. This will actually be finished, hopefully, before my next convention. And now this one is the one I work on one row a day that I show on the last episode. Well, basically, the last Wednesday of um, every week. And that's my temperature blanket. Uh, I still have to do tomorrow's row, but I can't exactly do, which is technically going to be, well, the Wednesday. You're seeing this, but I've got one more day to put in, but February is almost done, and honestly, we have had a warm February here in the city, because it was just cold January, and it was just a massively warm um, February, most of the time, that I actually had to drop a few of my layers. And, um, basically it was a good day because of the temperature. I had an amazingly good day to start work on just a mini temp uh, doll repaint, which I'm not filming because it's just one of, something I need to do for quick, but I will soon be done with my very first big doll repaint which I have uh, filmed process but I probably the only process I haven't filmed are making boots and the accessories and the outfit but that's all gonna be in a video that uh, I don't know when it'll be posted but I got a ton of editing to do on it but enough with my babbling on doll repaints we've got one last whip to show you and that is the mini, the uh, doll size Nightwing sweater I am working on. This is basically, I do doll size versions for when I want to do a bigger version of what I want to work on for a physical human, but I need to work out a pattern. So, mind you, I've had to um, redo basically rescale the pattern like I had to cut the amount of stripes going along here and here but the front 
part is done. I just got to do the back part here and then I'm going to connect the shoulders and then do the neck. And then afterwards I'm going to do the sleeves and then I'll block it and uh, place it on the doll for um, the uh, final picture. And that is it for Whips of the Week. Uh, next up is actually going to be, I'll be talking about the uh, plans for what I will be doing for Whips for this week. For, well, the week that's after this episode. So let's get on with the next segment, shall we? All right, plans for this week is basically I'm going to hopefully finish the Hogwarts bobble stitch blanket and most likely I will end up finishing that mini Nightwing sweater. Let's see. And I also plan and um excuse me, I am working I'm looking at my notes over here. Uh get back to I'm also planning to get back to work on this tiger rug here, which just fell. But um basically I've basically had to stop because one, one of the yarns I was using was getting all um, knotted up and I was not able to undo the knot that was causing me strife so I cut it off and I'm gonna wind up a new color for that yarn cuz um, I thankfully have one but uh, the same color and brand I was using since, but um, I have not been able to work on the tiger rug since I have I just been so focused on that ball on the uh, Hogwarts bobble stitch blanket but and plus I have to buy some uh, safety eyes to uh, do the eyes for the head of the tiger rug since I all, all I have for the tiger rug is uh, the bottom half which was the easy part the hard part is actually um, the top part with all the stripes for the tiger. And I also plan to continue work on the Ron Weasley blanket here. Because uh, I kind of stopped and I forgot. And plus I got to redo one of the squares since I now have the appropriate color for it. And the last thing that I'm going to be doing actually before this coming up Tuesday is to film my next tutorial Tuesday and if you look on uh, my Instagram which is linked to the Facebook page you will get a little hint just you get to see what will be coming up for this week for next month's tutorial Tuesday which is going to be a little bit theme for St. Patrick's Day which is going to be next month and probably in April, even though it's going to be after Easter, I probably will be doing a little Easter tutorial. So stay tuned for that. And uh, that is it for this week's episode. I will see you all next week, hopefully with a finished object, maybe two. Well, let's hope. Until then, stay crafty, my friends.